Well, hello there, FSG. Nice to see you again. How are you? I am good, Ox. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Another beautiful day here, and I'm going to pronounce it correctly because someone in your comments said it's yes. Ahali Farms, isn't it? I'm glad you saw that because I was going to say the same thing, yes. Obviously got it a little so the, bit wrong. So the G is silent, I'm assuming that's Ahali. Would that be how yeah, you pronounce I, it? Yeah, I, well, somebody said Ahali with a K, and right. then somebody said Ahali as well. So we'll go we'll yeah. go with Ahali this week and see if we get c corrected again. All right, all right. But there we go. <laughs> So uh, there's your English or Irish lesson for today. Um, yeah. Let's get into some farming. What's the plan? So we've got quite a lot. It's the last day we can harvest crops. So we have got three fields we need to clear today. Uh, the oats that are just here behind me and in mm -hmm. front of you. And then there's a couple of wheat fields, one here and one up at the other farm. So um, I think first things first, it's uh, get into the combine and get, uh, get through those crops as quickly as we can. And then... Uh, I can do a bit of mowing while you're doing that, and then we'll um, we'll bale the bale the straw up after that. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I mean, it's interesting you say three fields. They're not actually too big, are they? They're not offensively big, so why not take as long as we think? But there's still, like you say, a lot to do with the baling, and I think we're just going to sell the crop straight into the market rather than storing it because we've got we nowhere are. to put it. That's right. Yeah, um, mm. we kind of need we need uh, we need the cash for one thing, but two. You know, we're a predominantly dairy farm, so uh, it's the straw that's more important to us for bedding and uh, yeah, TMR. Cool. And the grass you're going to mow, that's sort of getting ready to make some hay in the coming weeks, isn't it? That's right. That's right. So, mm. um, yeah, loads to do. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Um, well, I might go and grab the combine out. I think this gate behind you looks much too narrow to get into, but I think there's one around the other side of the yard, around where the header is, that we can go through. There is, so we should be able to squeeze through there. So what I'll do, I'll grab the header while you grab the combine and we'll uh, get stuck in. All right, sounds good. Have fun. We'll uh, catch up with you soon. Yeah, chat in a bit, mate. All right. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Sorry for being a little bit distracted there, trying to help Arxie get through the gate here with the combine. But there he goes. Very good. I am going to just try and get in the gator here and manoeuvre this head around. It is really tight in this yard though, so um, let me see what I can do here. Having it tucked against the gate like that isn't ideal, but we'll uh, we'll make it work. We might have to do a, a few point turns to uh, get things around, although I take it all back. It's not going to be as difficult as I thought, although we are on the maximum of the uh, turning circle of the gator here, so let me see if I can might have to force this round a little bit. No, we're going to have to. We are going to have to do a little bit of a reverse here. But well, that's okay. Can I get all the way back? <clears throat> there we go. And I'm going to do a, a little bit of a U-turn here. Let Args get sorted. I have got the gator stuck. That's a good start. But it turns out this isn't the ideal vehicle for this. The hitch is so low that um, you get a little bit stuck, it drags in the floor. So, uh, mental note for next time. That is not ideal. In fact, look, we're stuck again. So what I'll do, I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to run the gator back. I'm going to get the T7 anyway, because I need that for, uh, for my mowing. So I'll quickly grab that, and we'll uh, pull it round into position. Right, there we go. Let's roll this into space here, like so. Let Args grab his uh, header, and we'll move there. In fact, we'll just leave the header trailer on the field, actually. There we go. Let's get that just dumped somewhere. Out of the way, we're not going to need it today, and we're not going to use this field today. We do have to cultivate this field at some point, but definitely not on the cards today. So let's move this into position. Then we need to go and get um, the trailer for Ox. He's got, I, I mean, it doesn't look like a very big field here. I don't think we'll fill the trailer, but um, we'll go and get the trailer set up and waiting for him. And then we'll go and do some mowing up at the other farm. We go. One of the challenges with this map, it's uh, 
playing musical chairs with all the equipment all the time. But, uh, comes with the territory, right? Anyway, let's get this baler moved out of the way. We don't need the chopper any time soon, so we can just leave this here, I think. Like that, and then we shall grab the trailer. There we go, working our way around these narrow yards, but it's all good. This road is insanely bumpy, though. But I think I will just park it just about here. That should do nicely. Um, I will go and get the Ford, actually, 8210, and put it on. So Args, if he does get this trailer full, can run it straight to the uh, cell point rather than having to go and get a tractor himself. I genuinely think we'll struggle to fill this trailer on this one field. Right, mower hooked up. I will just switch this tractor over, and then Args is fully self-sufficient. I do love this old 8 to 210. It's fabulous. Engine noise is good too. Right, there we go. And here comes Args, just as we finish off. Finishing off, I think, that's his first headland. Because he's making good progress. What I'll do, I'm going to walk down here and open this gate again. One less thing for him to worry about. Oh man, these roads. We're going to have to get a... Uh, going to have to get a roller in here or a digger or something and sort those out at some point. They are ridiculous. Look at that. Right, Args is all set and looking good. So we'll leave him to it and we'll go and do our chores up at the other farm. So where are we? Well, there's Args in the combine, in the oats at the bottom there. We're going to head up. Field 30 is our target today. We may even do 22 as well. Um, we'll certainly cut the grass anyway, whether or not we, uh, we'll turn this into hay using a tedder. Whether or not we keep this as grass or turn it to hay, I don't know yet. We'll have a chat with Args about that. But he's going to do this field. He's then going to do 60. 58 is the one we've got the header trailer in, which has already been cut. And we're going to head up to field 20 there and sell that wheat too. Um, I think probably the best place to sell them is uh, Agley Grain there, or Ackley Grain. So we'll do that as well. Like I said, we're not keeping it. We don't need it. So best thing to do. Just get it sold, right. Get a little bit of cash in the bank. Let's get this over to the other farm. Every single time you need to move a piece of equipment, it's a three-point turn around the yard. Man, I don't even know if this will fit down here. It will. But you've got to have your wits about you. Look at that. There's not a lot of space to spare. Watch gate posts and things like that. Right, we're good. Okay, we'll see at the other farm. The joys of a new farm and not paying attention, the actual gate is up there. But because the roads are so narrow, we're going to have to be pretty clever about how we uh, turn around here. There we go, that might work. All right. Here we are at the gate, but I think again we might have to reverse down here to get straight on to be able to get into the field. Let's see how we go. Yep, this is definitely the best way to do it. Much less hassle. Right, look at that, straight in. So we are going to drop a wide swath here. I know Args did the... Uh, pre windrowed element last time because we were going to bail it straight away I think we'll do the wide swath on this one right unfold power up oh it's rocking again what's that I wonder if that's just the uh, piece of land it was on let's just get into position away from the hedge ever so slightly we do want a little bit of a border there we go lower down and off we go. We don't have to be too accurate here with our rows because we are going to win row and ted it. So, okay, sit back, relax, and we'll see you when we're done.
Right, here we go. We're making decent enough progress here. You might have just seen Args coming back with a trailer after he'd sold the oats. He's finished that first field already. Uh, we've made a little bit of cash. You can see money's gone up to 27k in the bank. So that's good. Um, and like I said, I've got a couple more rows here to finish. Args was going to try and move over to the next field. They said it was pretty challenging and tight getting through the gates and stuff. So we'll head back with the mower when we're done here. And we'll go and uh, see how he's getting on and we can pick up the tether and then we'll come back and start doing that as well. Right, here we go. Last couple of strips. Now, I've just decided I'm not going to run this back to the yard because the other grass field is just behind us. So what I think I might do is just run it through the gate, cut a little gap out and uh, park it up there because we can come back up here at some point in the future and pick that up. But uh, right at this moment in time... It makes more sense to have it there than it does back at the yard. Any time you're avoiding navigating these narrow lanes, I think, is a bonus. So um, the gate is dead ahead of us just up there. So let's just grab these last tiny little straggly bits. You know me, don't like to leave little tufts of grass anywhere or crop if we can avoid it. Let's just pick these little bits up. And then we are done in this field. That was um, that took a bit longer than I thought, actually. It's a big old field. This will be one of our biggest fields. Right, there we go. Job done. Power it down. Let's fold it back up so we can get it through the gate. And over the other side is our second field. This is our field here as well. We need to think about what we do next with that. Right, dropped off. That should be fine there until we need to use it again. Nice uh, nice square field, this one, actually. Should be relatively straightforward to deal with. I will shut the gate, though. Just in case the cows get out. There we go. Open the gate again. Just trying to work out if we can get the tether around without having to shut it again. But it looks like... We are going to have to shut it when we do any work in the field. Right, let's go and grab that tether and let's go and see how Argus is getting on. Right, here we are, back in the yard. Grab our little um, tether. There it is. I was like, where is it? It's hiding behind the drill here. Not very wide, but that is because of the nature of the farm. Okay, hooked up, but we will stop and say hi to Args too, see how he's doing. And again, we have to kind of come through here and reverse around to get lined up to get out, to get enough space to get out, so... There we go. And we can point and shoot up there. Right, let's go and see Args. Wow, this is not a big field, is it? Yeah... We'll have this done in no time. Certainly not going to fill a trailer. Do you know what I'll do while I'm here? I'll quickly grab the trailer. And just reverse it through the gate so that he can uh, unload. I run this alongside the hedge. He might be able to get the, um, the pipe over the hedge. Let's see, shall we? Right, now, with the way that's parked, he should be able to get the pipe over the hedge here. Um, it looks like he's nearly finished, so let's wait for him and have a little chat. Perfect. That worked a treat. Look at that. Straight into the trailer. You're not hanging around, Args? <laughs> There's not that much a field to do. <laughs> Two down, one I'm to go. Blink and, you, blink and you miss it, yeah. No, that was good, though. Good. Managed to get in here okay. A little Good. bit of uh, manoeuvring with backing the header in and whatnot. Um, it was funny, I said I should have parked the trailer just over the edge of the fence and you yeah. can moved it exactly there. So. How's the combine? Is it about the right size for the farm? A bit big? Yeah, I think it's perfect. No, it? I think it's perfect. Good. Yeah, I think it'll be good. So it wasn't too hard manoeuvring around or anything, just, just a bit fiddly getting through the gates. But other than that, once you're in the field, it's good. Excellent. Oh, I would, I'd hmm. finish the mowing, I'm just picking up the uh, tether. But I thought I'd just come nice. and see if you needed anything. Well, do you want to? I mean, do you want to take this down and do the last field? I mean, I can do if you want. 
I can stay here and bale some straw and get these all finished off and we can let that grass just dry out for a little bit before we hit it with the tether. Yeah, alright, no, well, let's do that. I'll um Okay. Well, I'll give you a hand, get this get the header back off the combine and then I can bring the trailer down and I'll come back and bale the straw up and then bring the baler down to you. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, we don't need to empty that trailer now, do we? Because it's uh, wheat up at the no. top field as well. So sweet, yeah. That's why we did the oats first. All right, yeah, let's do that. Cool. All right, I'll go and grab the trailer. Bring that header in here. See, uh, header trailer in. All right, cool, mate. Right, I shall jump in the combine, maneuver it around so we can get the uh, header off, and then we'll get it up to the other field. Although that trailer looks about half full already. So, um, let's see what we can do with that. Right, here comes Args. Let's get this sorted. Lower down. Disconnect. And back we go. That was interesting. But it's on and latched in place. We'll head up the road. I will fold up the combine just to see the even the steps having them folded in is a bonus right let's run this up to the last field and I'm just going to do some bailing down here of course my tractor is in the way typical right new hole and put away Ox can uh, get that out again if he needs to right off up to Ackley Farm we go. I'm going to have to cut straight into the field, I think, to avoid damaging any crop. Let's get that hooked up. Unfolded. Hooked up. Oh, let's move out of the way slightly. I'm just going to go straight down the field, I think. Like so. And we'll deal with the angle of the uh, crop afterwards, or the or the angle of the swath. But this should be all right. This should make quite a lot of sense actually if we're doing this before we um, get into the baling, because the baler can drive straight to the field then and go straight on as well. So we'll get to the bottom and then we'll start doing headlands. It's all good. It is all good. Cheers for bringing that up, Args. Hey, yeah, no worries. I think that's you all set to go now. Magic. You need to rattle through mm. these fields quick, don't you? Jeez. Yeah, you definitely do. You definitely cover some ground. Um, right, I'm going to go up and carry on baling that straw. I'll get started baling that straw. Um, once I'm done, I'll come down here and maybe you leave you the baler and I'll go and do some loading or something. All right, sounds good, mate. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, have fun. Enjoy that combine. I did. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Mm, it is very comfortable. All right, happy baling. See you in a bit. Yep, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers, bud. There you go. Mark's happily bailing. Let's uh, crack on and get this field done as quickly as we can. Two nice uh, strips here. By the time we get down to the bottom, actually, by the time we've done two headlands, this is a very narrow bit in the middle of the field.
here we are at the sell point. Let's find where we need to tip this. I think I might just reverse it in here. Well, I have to reverse it in. The other side isn't open. There you go. Decision made for me. Let's see how much money we're going to make for this. Let's turn the HUD on for this. Right, there we go. I had to watch the roof there, actually. So I had to reverse back a little bit more. That's the reason we've got uh, only 1,129 showing, but 32,200 now in total. So that is not a bad little haul for one trailer load. And we know we've got more back in the field. So let's go back. Let's get the rest of that field done quickly. And then ticks in the box. That is all the harvesting done. I love this small map. You get so much done so quickly. Right, here we are, back at the field. Let me just see if I can get around here and lined up nicely. Just. Over the pipe. I'll unload the rest of that. Obviously not yet, because the engine's not on, but uh, that's us good to go. Right, let's finish this field quickly. Right, there we go. That is us. Tiny last little bit here, and you will see also that uh, Argus has brought the baler down. So by the time we unload this and park this up and run it down to the uh, cell point, we're going to be in a good position. We've got a lot of work done today. Argus is uh, going to be loading bales then. He's obviously baled both of those fields down at the bottom. Which is fantastic. So um, what I'll do maybe is find a little corner for this combine. There we go. That's it done. Find a little corner for this combine. Uh, so I might bail a little corner just here. So we've got space to park it where it's not covering up straw. And then, uh, and then we can take the grain over to the cell point. Right, there we go. Nice little space in the corner here. We can reverse the combine into. Until such time we need to move it. I think the header trailer got parked somewhere else, because I can't see it anymore. So for that reason, I'm going to leave it in the field for now. Just out of the way of the baler. Right, here we are. 50% we had in the trailer in the end, so not bad. A trailer and a half off that field, it's not bad right, let's just try and manoeuvre everything is so tight on this map I love it you just got to be on your on your toes the whole time got to have your wits about you but there's something really nice about that right, let's make sure we get this right into the shed so that you don't get caught on the roof as well there we go, another 2,349 pounds in the bank so we've jumped actually from 23,000 at the start of the episode to 34,600 now so that is a good amount of uh, money off those three fields I will take that every day of the week right now we're going to run this back down to Fraser's farm, the main farm where all the machinery is and then we'll go back to the baling Could have reversed it into that uh, further over one, but that would have been a little bit extreme when there's a lovely spot just here. Look at that. Job done. Pull it forward a bit, drop it off, and we'll go and say a quick hello to Arcs before we head back up and do some more bailing. There we go, three high. Nice. I think that's him just finishing off the last stack in this field. Not see any more bales. Oh, I don't even think he's moving the trailer. He's just uh, he's just going to get them from the other field rather than moving the trailer over. Maybe I could do that for him. There he goes. Lovely. Look at the way he's done that. Very nice. Nicely done, Args. Um... I thought I'd try that auto load bale grab. I've never used it before. I know it's uh, a very frequently used court farms attachment. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It 
yeah, I can see why you like it. Just takes takes some of the well, it, the vertical stacking takes that out of the equation. Mm. So you, yeah, you've got a bit more control. Plus, How are the I can brakes? See what you mean about the brakes? <laughs> They're terrible. They're terrible. <laughs> I think that might be going to the mechanics workshop in the next week yeah. uh, and having a little bit of an XML tweak. That's right, that's right. Either that or it's uh, going to get driven into a river somewhere and left there. <laughs> One or the other. Very good. Right, um, do you want to get that other field bailed up? Yeah, I was just dropping the... Uh, I just finished tipping the grain and brought the trailer back here and nice. I thought I'd see, see how you're getting on. But yeah, no, let's go and do the other field. Yeah, cool. Um, I might just use the tally handle up there for loading. Just use the grab. Yeah, I keep up with you while you're bailing pretty quick. So, all right, cool. So I'll see you up there. All right, mate. See you up there. Oh, well, in fact, I'll I'll bum a ride with you. Actually, do you want to just park in the yard? I'll jump in the case with you and leave the Ford up here. Yeah, the Ford's yeah. I parked it away anyway. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah. All right. You go and uh, just head into the yard. I'll go put this one away. All right. Cool. All right. Let's uh, get this away. And uh, oh, I'm just going to park that one up. Glad he likes that bail grab. It is good. If you haven't used it, black sheep modding. Comfy, Args. It's a little cosy, isn't it? I needed a bigger <laughs> cab. Yeah, it's not a big tractor, this, is it? No, it's not, but isn't it nice having the passenger mod? We've always talked about using it, but uh, it never really had the chance. Yeah. yeah. Makes total sense on a multiplayer server to be able to give each other a lift around the place if we can. Yeah, it does. So what did we end up making out of those crops? About 10 grand, was it? 11. Yeah, we had 23, 23,000 and a bit when we started. Right. And uh, yeah, that's us on 34 now, 34,600. Yeah, nice. Nice. Now remember, you've got a big tall stack of bales on the back there. Don't go too fast around the corners. Yeah, I was uh, just thinking that. <laughs> so you like that stacker, do you? You like that uh, bale grab? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. I can see. I can see it has its purposes. I'm still a purist when it comes to my bail stacking. I know you are. I can. I can see why people, including yourself, would find it so attractive to use. Oh, am I going to make this? I don't know. I'm not going to judge you though. Yes. Well Just. done. Nicely done. In cap two. Indeed. Next challenge. Can you do it into the field down here? Because this one was pretty tight as well. It was quite tight, wasn't it? I think you need to kind of hug the right hand side. Did you have issues with the trailer tipping into the cell point as well? Uh, yes, I had to make sure I reversed far enough back that it didn't get caught on the roof. Yeah, either far enough back or just just on the edge. Yeah. And found that out the hard way. Like you said last time, you can see why there's lots of farms with dents and dings and scratches around. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Look at that, you're a pro. It's not my first rodeo, Args. Good job. Been Good on job. court for six months on court farms as a... Uh, set me up nicely <laughs> alright well nicely done well, I'll leave you to go bailing and I'll go and grab the uh, tally handler alright mate I'll see you in a bit have fun enjoy cheers that was fun passenger mod's an interesting one it's, it's always a clever one but you kind of never really have much of a use for it until you're on a multiplayer server so I'm glad we put that on right let's get this fired up and ready to go Try and clear some of these early spots so Args can uh, start loading. And then uh, we will charge on and get the rest done. There we go. Now, there are a few bits and pieces around this field, but I don't think, having just dropped that last bale off, there's much point in me 
grabbing everything because we'll never get a full bailout. So this will just sit here until um, the next time we go bailing. Which will be next year because that is all of the bales done. Um, I have to start to run them straight into the shed because it's so close with the telehandler, but um, we're doing good here. There we go, last few little bits. So we've done it. And there we go. Now I might go and uh, park this over here, but then I might uh, just reverse the trailer up so Args can unload. So if I put this here under the tree, like so, I can jump in the case here and run this back for Args. We'll ratchet that up. That is a serious day's work, Args. We've, uh, yeah, we've smashed it out, really, haven't we? With three fields harvested, all the bales baled and collected. It's uh, It's been fantastic. Plus yep. the grass field bike, too. That's right. That's right. That's sitting there, ready to be tethered and uh, windrowed and picked up next time as well. So, making yeah, perfect. great perfect progress. Next time. Hmm, absolutely. Um, well, I suppose, well, apart from the fact we have to unload this trailer, which we can do afterwards, it's probably a good spot to tidy things up and finish up for today. That's right. Yep. No, I think that. Uh, is a good time to stop it. Really good. Enjoyed that a lot, Args. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a whole different uh, feel for me, and obviously for you as well, because we kind of cross paths and see each other and then interact and that, but we're kind of doing our own little thing at the same time. Yeah, like, and we, like cool. we said at the start, you know, it's it makes it's more beneficial for the watchers as well because they can watch two very different perspectives of the same map at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very much so. Very good. Well. uh yeah, nice job. I don't know um, what will be happening next week. I'm away, so uh, but we did say that if you wanted to jump in and get some work done, it's kind of an easy map to get in and do something on your own if you need to. It is, yeah, it is. You can get a few little jobs out of the way and uh, tidy things mm. up for the next time you're back. So we'll see. I'll see yeah. how the week pans out, but uh, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah, cool, mate. All right, well, otherwise we'll see you in a fortnight. Yeah, nice one, Alex. Have a good one. Cool. You too. We'll catch you again soon. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Yeah, right. Well, there we go. We'll go and get these loaded up into the shed and away, and uh, we will see you next time. But hope you enjoyed that. This is this is really working for me as a map and as a multiplayer with Args. This is really ticking all of the boxes. I think we're enjoying the kind of nice variety in equipment as well. We were just saying how great this little telehandler is as well. The old uh, classics, modern classics pack, I think it's called. Um, so I'll follow Args up here and we'll get those into the shed so thank you very much for watching and we will see you again very soon take care bye for now <laughs>